on YouTube. Yes, it's Seven here yeah. to talk about Manchester United's first signing for the January transfer window. Yes, it was Victor Valdez, the ex-Barcelona goalkeeper. United signed him for free because he was a free agent. Now, I wanted to discuss a few issues about Victor Valdez and about what a few other people uh, are saying that are just quite disagreeing. It doesn't sit well with me. So, I'm here today to address the few issues. Uh, you, know, you know what? Let's just get straight to the issues. People are saying, oh, Victor Valdez, it's not that great of a signing. You know, and, and let me be the first to tell you, Victor Valdez, uh, no more, he, he's past the hill. He is not a world-class goalkeeper anymore. Yes, you, you've seen that at Barcelona. He was definitely, definitely a bit skeeved towards the end of his career. And that's why Barcelona got rid of him in the end. Plus, he had the knee injury. So, I don't think Manchester United would have gone out and out. Uh, I don't think we've gone and paved the way to get uh, Victor Valdez in to become uh, David De Gea's replacement if we do sell De Gea. No, it is so clearly obvious that we bought, or we got Victor Valdez, because we didn't pay nothing, we got him for free. The only reason we, why we got Victor Valdez is because he is a backup to David De Gea. Louis Van Gaal used to work with Victor Valdez at Barcelona in 2002-ish, roughly. Leave a comment down below if I'm wrong. Around there. So, Dave, uh, so um, Louis Van Gaal knows uh, Victor Valdez. They have a relationship already. For me, now I know a lot of, a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, it's just bias, it's just bias. I think it's a pretty decent signing. For the fact that Louis Van Gaal doesn't rate Ben Amos, He's been at the club for years, they're going to sell him. Uh, and, and, and clearly, uh, Louis Van Gaal does not rate Lindegaard. Lindegaard hasn't, uh, I don't know this, but I'm pretty sure he has not played one game under Louis Van Gaal this season. So clearly, he doesn't rate him. So if you don't rate him, get rid of him. Bring in players that you know and you trust, and that's what he's done with Victor Valdez. He's obviously going to be the number two to David De Gea. Now, for me, if you're going to get a backup, I'd rather you get a backup with someone with some experience than inexperienced. Now, you just have to look at Newcastle United this season. Newcastle have so have had so many injuries with their goalkeepers. And look now, they've got a, what, a 19, 21-year-old Ulrich as their, um, you know, their third-choice goalkeeper. But he's on the front line now. He has got no experience whatsoever. And as Newcastle fans, you can tell it really shows that they're very nervous when he gets the ball. United have signed Victor Valdez. Victor Valdez has won a World Cup. He's won the Euros, the European Championships. You know, he's won the Champions League with Barcelona. He's won every bloody trophy there is to win in Spain. He has got experience, and that experience will come in handy for David De Gea to, you know, just to help him grow further on. I think for me, lads, Victor Valdez is a great welcome addition to Manchester United. But that's all it is. He is just a backup for David De Gea. Don't look into it, because I know Liverpool wanted to sign uh, Victor Valdez, but at Liverpool, Victor Valdez would have been number one. I don't think Victor Valdez is good enough to start for a big team in England as the number one. As David De Gea's backup, make beautiful. I think it's a fantastic signing. And for free as well. He comes with all that experience, so... And plus, he's Spanish too, so he can help the hair. You know, he's got all the lads like Ander Herrera, one Matt to hang around with. I think it's a great addition to the team. Anyways, lads, get your comments down below. Do you think he's a good signing for free? I want to hear your opinions. I'll definitely be reading those. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, lads. And don't forget, tomorrow is Saturday. I think it is. Uh, my Q&A should be out, so be look be on the lookout for that. Hopefully, it's going to be out anyways. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Take care. And peace. Now, just before you go, guys, on a serious matter, I just want to give a shout out to my French subscribers over in France. It's very, very, very sad what's happening at the minute over in France. I just want to say uh, all my thoughts, all my prayers are with you guys. And not just me, the whole Seven Army around the world. All our thoughts, all of our prayers are with you guys. It's very, very sad what's happening at the minute. I had a French subscriber reach out to me, Henri. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, so I'm just going to give all my love to you guys. Hopefully, lads, um, this thing blows over very quickly and uh, it gets itself resolved as soon as possible uh, all my thoughts all my prayers all my love uh, is with you guys and um, stay strong we're here for you take care we love yous peace